Hi kawan, it's been a while and uh, well, welcome to EDC Ready. Today we are doing an unboxing of a knife that I've actually wanted for some time but I've never pulled the trigger until today. We have here a Benchmate, my very first Benchmate and it is the Benchmate Bugout in a grey, like GRY-1. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be an unboxing and then a first impression. So let's look around the box right here. I don't know why, I think we have some paint that kind of chipped off or rubbed off a little bit um, maybe during um, maybe while it was packaged or uh, during shipment or whatever but it's fine box is good it's your standard benchmade knife company boxes uh, you have your information right here we have the box itself on the inside here we have some nice uh, foam I'm not sure what kind of foam this is but it's nice kind of feels like styrofoam okay and then in here we have some uh, information about the knife we have here a user and care manual uh, it talks about sharpening, fine tuning. Uh, it talks about what blue cat, blue class, gold class, black class is. Bench mates, a uh, life sharp uh, policy, and bada bing, bada boom. You guys can read all that. I think they have it on their website. So you go ahead, if you want to learn more about it, you can learn more about it on the website. Now you have this here uh, pouch right here, Benchmate pouch, very nice. And opening it up, we have here. Here we go. Benchmate bug out. Now the benchmate bug out, why I went for the benchmate bug out, like initially I wanted the griptilian or the mini griptilian, but I felt like the benchmate bug out is a far more popular knife right now. And I kinda like the dimensions on the bug out a little bit more. So hence I got the bug out and I got the color that I really like. Now I know that there is a CF Elite or an all black one. Uh, those are nice. I'm not a particular fan of the blue one with the with the satin finish blade. Uh, I'm not that fan of that kind of a bright blue, but I do like green and black or green and dark grey combo which is why I went with this. This is the Ranger Green and then the uh, the grey accents right here. You have the grey coated blade. You have here like a gold anodized thumb stud. Gold, gold anodized thumb studs. And then you also have here the grey pocket clip. And uh, here we go. We have an access lock thing right here. Without further ado, here we go. Let's look at the uh, the knife itself. Now, Benchmates have been kind of known in the industry to have bad quality control. Uh, I've heard that since 2019, I think, they have improved, uh, especially when they realize that the uh, access lock pattern has expired. And a lot of other companies like Gonzo and Hoke Knives have started using the access lock and then they're kind of using it um, with better fit and finish. So I assume that they would have improved their fit and finish, but let's have a look. Let's have a look at centering. Centering is not perfect, but it is pretty darn good in my book. I'm not such a nitpicker when it comes to centering as long as it is not touching the sides, which it is not touching the sides right there. It is good enough for me. I would say it is maybe leaning 10% to the left. Don't know if you guys can see that. It's leaning about 10% to the left or maybe around 15%, which is very acceptable for me. Pocket clip is nice. Now, I've... I've had, I've held a Benchmade bug out before. I was not a fan of the pocket clip because uh, it's really tight, especially being so short. It tends to hold, it tends to have a, a quite a bit of retention because of how short it is. Will I change this out? I do not know. But uh, let's, let, let me carry it first, see if I like it or not. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the action. Now, will it have the trademark for Shutty Benchmade action? Here you go. Okay, it opens up nice relatively slow but that's probably because it's kind of new from the factory and one thing i did realize is that compared to other frn handles like this this uh para 3 lightweight right here this guy tends to feel a little smooth and has been proven to be a little bit slippery i've actually dropped this a few times the bug out the frn handles here or they call it the grip free handles has some nice texturing on it so it definitely feels a lot grippier however being frn it does have the typical frn sin which is that it is a little bit sharp on the inside right here and right here Okay, the blade itself, very nice. I like this little swedge up here. The blade looks a little bit dirty. There's some like dust on it or something like that from the factory or something. I'm not sure. Maybe it's from the inside of the bag. Hmm. I don't know. It's a little bit dusty. The grind is actually, it looks really good. Some knives, even my pair of three here. The grind is a little bit uh, un uneven. Okay, you have certain parts of it that's a little bit uneven. Not this this particular one is a little bit uneven. Uh, my ZT-0450CF is also very uneven. Don't know if you guys can see it. I gotta zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it tends to be a little bit uneven. But this guy, the grind is actually pretty nice and pretty even. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Uh, it feels nice and sharp. It's nice, very thin blade stock. We can compare that to my sliciest knife that I have right now. 
which is a 10 gram Santa Fe, is right around the same blade stock, uh, but definitely does not have the height of the grind. But the grind here is relatively good. Feels pretty sharp uh, coming out of the box. Now, will it drop shut? No, it didn't. Probably needs a little bit of cleaning, probably needs a little bit of uh, fine tuning for it to be able to drop shut. It has a little bit of stick though here, can you hear that? Let me try that again. Yeah, a little bit of stick. Now, from my understanding, it is because the axis lock bar is titanium and it is uh, running on steel and that's kind of causing lock stick. I have never had lock stick issue on my Gonzo because the axis lock bar is steel and then it's resting on steel. But uh, I will do a video comparing a Benchmade axis lock with a uh, Gonzo G-Lock because they are technologically the same because the patent has expired. They just can't use the trademark term axis lock. But all in all, uh, my first impressions, uh, the groovy handles is nicely textured. I thought it's going to feel really cheap, like cheap FRN, but it doesn't. It actually feels quite nice. It actually has nice texturing on it. Uh, it is really light and really small in the hand. Not small in this dimension, but really thin in this dimension. I'm actually really impressed. I was kind of going back and forth between getting this and the mini bug out, but I'm really glad I got this because it's just, it's really comfortable in the hand. Like my fingers here fit very nicely within this cavity grip area right here. Very nice, super light. However, it does feel a little bit, a little bit uh, a blade heavy, a little bit forward heavy. Not too bad. It's just right around where the pivot is. Now, personally, I like the weight or the balance of the knife to be right around where my finger is. So it kind of uh, falls not too bad. It's a little bit more forward heavy than, than I'm used to, but still pretty good. Especially for such a light knife, it's really darn good. Okay, you can do the thumb flick. Let's try that again. Thumb flick. You can hear that lock stick. Finger flick, nice, you can definitely do the, whoa, let's try that again, you can definitely do the axis lock flick right there, very nice, can't wait to take this part, uh, I don't know how difficult it's going to be compared to the G-Lock, but I expect it to be similar in terms of difficulty, I think a little bit of cleaning and a lot of carry would do this knife some good, right now it's kind of a little bit, a little bit of, a little bit tight, it's not really as far shutty as, as I like it, yeah, I'm a sucker for fall shutty knives, like this guy right here. Okay guys, that is my unboxing and first impressions of the Benchmade bug out. Uh, do wait for the disassembly and then do wait for the full review that's coming, I don't know, sometime in June maybe. Okay guys, thanks and as always, stay ready. Whoa, hold up, the video is not over yet. In the disassembly video, I talked about how this knife didn't have that false shut action that you expect from an axis lock. Well, right after I shot that video, I just took my little T10 uh, bit right here and then I just barely loosened it up a little bit and now it is just super nice and smooth and drop shotty just look at that and it does that without any blade play whatsoever which is just amazing you know benchmade has really improved the axis lock design it is now smooth and false shotty just like that and it does that without any blade play that i can feel whatsoever all you need to do is loosen it up a bit and i think with some loop Okay, once I take this part and disassemble it, watch out for that video. It is going to be even smoother. Oh yeah. And this, now, taking into account that Benchmade Axis Lock takes time to wear in, I, this is just going to be such a smooth knife once it's been disassembled and once it has been, once it has worn in as well. So, um, well, do wait for those videos. And thank you so much. And for one last time, well, for this video, stay ready.